Howdy Transformers fans! Welcome back to the 80s Toy Museum. And we're not taking a look at an 80s toy today, we're taking a look at a modern toy that is heavily inspired by an 80s toy. It is... what is his name? Point Blank. If you've been watching the channel for quite some time, you've noticed that I'm always mixing up Point Blank and Crosshairs. I always get their names mixed up. I almost feel like they should have, the name should have been reversed. This should have been crosshairs and this should have been point blank. But we're looking at the brand new Transformers Legacy point blank, which is in stock at Big Bad Toy Store. It'll only run you 26 bucks if you want to pick it up there. And the link is in the video description as well as the pinned first comment. So I don't collect too many modern Transformers. I think they look fantastic, but usually most of the new guys that I collect are third party. There's some up here, recently showcased in the third party and KO collection. Uh, Masterpiece scale is where it's at for me. This is a third party point blank. Forget who he's by and where he's from, but uh, actually I think it was Make Toys or Make Toys. So then why did I pick this guy up? Um, it's because I got a spare G1 point blank with no accessories and this particular one comes with the Target Master and the Headmasters and the Target Masters for the G1 stuff can go for a lot of money. Just one little Target Master can go for more than this whole toy right here. So I thought, well, even if uh, I don't really dig the robot himself, at least I get a Target Master out of it for my spare point blank which uh, I can have one in robot mode and one in vehicle mode then. And here he is in here with the... I'm never gonna get used to these little paper baggies of accessories. Just uh, too many decades of the clear plastic baggie. Oh, and here he is. Speaking of which, it's Point Blank's Target Master. And this little Nebulon is Peacemaker. And here he is beside the original Peacemaker. So they went with black on the new one instead of gray, like on the original one. And the new one is a little shorter, actually, which is a little strange since the uh, new Point Blank is the same height as the original one. And I'm assuming the transformation is going to be exactly the same. Transformation on the original Target Masters is very basic. It's just the legs fold up like that. So notice that the red plastic is a little darker on the new guy. He's got some more paint applications. He's got silver on his face, blue eye visor, black accents on his shoulders, some blue coloration, coloring those little holes that were on the original one. And without looking at the instructions, Assuming he folds up like the original and unlike the original, it's got an extra step of the barrel swinging down. Putting him into Target Master weapon mode. And yeah, he's smaller than the original pe Peacemaker in weapon mode as well. Just a little bit, but everything these days seems to be shrinking and I got one more guy to compare this guy with uh, this was um, a third party target master master shooter I think they were available on Big Bad Toy Store years ago they might have been uh, an exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store not sure but the master shooter figures had tons of articulation about the same size as uh, the G1 Target Masters. These were great to get if you didn't have the originals because um, I believe they came in three packs. Great value, especially, again, considering how much these little guys and the Headmasters and the Power Masters all go for. So I would have liked to have seen this guy just a little bit bigger to be uh, you know, a more um, fitting replacement if you don't have the original one. But uh, 
decided to shrink him down a bit. And let's arm him up with point blank. Point blank? Oh, yeah, point blank, not crosshairs. Uh, this transformer right here, first impressions, very, very impressive. Just giving him a, a quick futzing. Nice, sturdy joints, nothing really floppy. Whew, that posability is, uh, well, much better than the original one, that's for sure. Wow. We've come a long way. Um, some of these transformers are even better than um, the Masterpiece articulation. Get him into all sorts of Cool action poses. I'll get to his specific articulation in a second, but I just want to do a little bit of futzing here. See what his balance is like. Sturdiness of the joints. Can't really uh, put him in a running pose. But I think, yeah, he can do the Spartan kick. This is Sparta! <laughs> It's always um, a great test for balance and sturdiness, stiffness of joints. That is really, really impressive. Do a perfect sitting pose. It's got the splits like most Transformers do for some reason. Forward range is perfect. He's got no, uh, no hip skirt getting in his own way. Looks like knee bend is exceptional. You can do that soccer kick. That Lino Messi soccer kick. And uh, toes point down probably as part of the transformation. And look at that, he's even got a little bit of an ankle tilt. So he can be flat footed. And arms can do a full 360. He's got uh, something is getting in the way of his elbow bend here. This uh, piece of car is getting in his own way. Fists don't turn, I don't think. Shoulders shrug. Surprise, he's got this much range with, uh, with these giant bulky car parts on his shoulders. Head turn 360 as well as uh, not much can't look up or down much just a tiny bit teeny tiny bit of tilt as well it doesn't look like there's that many steps in transformation as I'm futzing around with him like this I'm not seeing too many parts come loose like on masterpiece just this thing is popping up a little bit that's a big problem with masterpieces. Panels and parts always popping out. This guy being a target master, it's especially important to have good gun posing, posability. He's definitely got that. Now, it would be awesome if a target master could hold his gun with two hands, steady it with the other hand. Noticing this barrel likes to pop up a little bit as you play around with them. It's another slightly loose point. Would have been nice if that either pegged in to the little thing on the top of his head or snapped in somehow. Uh, not enough range in the arms to hold the barrel, steady the gun. That'd be really cool. A dirty hairy pose steadying the wrist. That's more of a masterpiece scale thing, and even masterpiece have a lot of trouble doing that because of all the bulkiness in their uh, chests and shoulders. There he is in robot mode. Oh, so I always forget this. So many Transformers have this, the twist, waist twist, uh, side by side with the original one. And get the feeling that whoever designed the new one 
had one of these handy to go off of. All of the original details have been carried over. The uh, blue things on the knees. The shoulders are bang on. The head? The head is not the same. A little different. They might have gone with the... Uh, I can't remember if this is what he looks like on the Sunbow Show. There's only three episodes. Rebirth, where he appeared in the Sunbow Show. He pops up in the Headmasters Japanese cartoon a few times as well. But they changed up the head. And then from the back, not as similar just because different transformation. But now, let's take a peek and see what he looks like in vehicle mode and I'm going to transform the original one into vehicle mode as well so we can do some comparisons there and if you had point blank as a kid I did not if you had him then you can probably do this with your eyes closed and that's actually one of the fun things you can do with your transformers if you're an old timer like myself and you're lucky enough to once again reacquire some of the transformers you had from your childhood is uh, try transforming them with your eyes closed it's kind of shocking how many you'll be able to do that with uh, this dude right here how to transform him now usually I like to just try to guess at what to do here but this uh, this looks a little more complicated than a typical modern transformer oh, I figured out how to get his head in there this comes up that looks about right I'm just going off of how the original one transforms I'm thinking these there is a curvature right here and curve right there. I'm thinking those are supposed to fit in there. Yeah, they do. Nice. Taking a look at his arms now. I can see hood parts right here. Just have to figure out how to Twist those around. Look at that. Oh, I think you have to. Do that. Got to have them completely open. Folding these up is a little complicated. But once you get that all done, you can. Close this up. See there's a little nub there and a hole there, so those are supposed to fit together. All fits together, just kind of squeeze and twist. Get the front of the car there. And then these looks look like they swing down. And again, there's this is what I like about the modern transformers. They kind of guide you even without the instructions. There's another little nub there, a little tab. Fits into a little hole there. And for the feet, you collapse them all like that. You gotta open up this canopy. Because you gotta get those, gotta get that tab right there to feed into that hole right there. And what impedes that is right in there. So you have to just kind of pull, pull this whole section that way to clear. And kind of almost blindly trying to fit that tab in there. Like that. Over on the other side. Again, a little spot in there is impeding a little bit. Well, that comes down to, oh, pop right off of the ball joint there. that tab to fit 
like that. It's looking good. And then that uh, canopy comes down. And this always happens to me when I transform modern transformers. It's not flat, so you just kind of <coughs> pancake it. Get everything laying flat. And they've skipped one whole accessory for point blank. The original one used to have this little spoiler that plugged into the back here in behind the target master and he doesn't have that that's too bad that's another thing that uh it's kind of synonymous with the character so just leaving off a little tiny thing like that kind of sucks and to attach the target master this is puzzling i just assumed it would be like on the original one target master plugs into the top and that way you can aim left and right. Uh, this guy has got a post right here for the robot to hold him in robot mode. Two little holes here, but doesn't fit on those holes. He actually plugs in to, there's two holes on either side, slots, and he plugs in with these tabs on either side. So, on the new one, the Target Master is kind of taking the place of the old spoiler, as well as being a Target Master. It's, it's kind of being both at the same time, and honestly, I don't really like that look. I would have preferred if they had just put a hole right here. What would have stopped them from putting a hole right there? For him to plug in there and be able to aim left and right, just like the original one. And this is a character that I didn't have as a kid. I didn't have the original point blank. So I'm not entrenched in nostalgia. I just don't think that looks as good as if it had been a little higher up can't really put a hole in in there that takes away from the uh, robot mode but anyways that's uh, point blank legacy point blank in vehicle mode and other than the placement of the target master it looks pretty good I, I like that it's a little more elongated more realistic looking car than um, the original I mean I'm really not wallowing in, in nostalgia, entrenched in nostalgia for this original guy. There's a reason I didn't have him as a kid. It's because I, I didn't really think he was that great. Um, you know, I'd rather have Hardhead instead of this guy, or Hot Rod instead of this guy. It's kind of like a squat car. The tires are a little too close together. You know, he's one of the three Autobot Target Masters, new guys from... Uh, 87 so he's part of a group but standing on his own I never thought he was really all that spectacular um, and the one thing I wanted to try here is to see what new target master would look like on the original one and it does not fit if you've got the spoiler in which is fine by me because my spare uh, point blank is missing the spoiler and so take the spoiler out and the target master does fit in there and don't know if it'll fit in the back one almost it's a hole in the back there for the spoiler and uh, it will fit in there he's kind of aiming up when you do that I don't know if it'll fit the other way no it won't there's this um, post on the top as well. Now that's cool. You can stick them in the original like that if you're missing the spoiler. Oh, I might have just discovered something very interesting here. If you've got a G1 point blank and you can get them super cheap at toy shows if they're missing everything, any vintage toy that's missing all its accessories uh, is going to go for a lot less than a complete one. But if you plug them in like that, the barrel comes down and you 
Kind of looks more like a bird than a gun, but anyways. He's got uh, full range. It's interesting use of a target master. And I'll give you 360 in both vehicle and robot mode while uh, doing some thanks and plugs. Thank you to the Patreon tribe, as always. Much appreciated for your support. It's almost 200 Patreon-exclusive videos, various reviews, roundtables on there. So if you're so inclined, feel free to visit patreon.com slash michaelmercy and check it out. A couple of different tier levels. You don't have to be rich to join. The lowest tier level is two bucks for one month. And uh, also, thank you to the channel panel. Appreciate your support as well. And one of the perks you get as a channel panel member is the custom emojis. Some of you might have seen in the comment section. Optimus is in there. Spectrum. The spectacular Spectrum mask is in there. You're going to hear a little bit more about how spectacular Spectrum is in the coming weeks. Uh, as well as uh, badges. Channel member badges. Depending on how long you've been a chan channel member, you get different uh, military style badges like the sergeant or... I see some of you have finally gotten the uh, the captain insignia. That's pretty cool to see. The longer you're a channel member, the higher your rank goes. So enjoy those increasing ranks over the coming months. And thank you all for watching and doing the YouTube thing. Hitting like, hitting subscribe. Really appreciate that. A couple weeks ago, commemorated 80,000 subscribers. That's mind-boggling. And uh, my wife and I celebrated with a... Uh, Dairy Queen chocolate brownie ice cream cake. So I think cake is a great way to celebrate anything. So appreciate the opportunity to dig into one of those delicious ice cream cakes. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Till next time, don't let anyone steal your joy. Nerd mistake.